Friends, September 1st week is celebrated as a National Nutrition Week and today we are going to talk something about a mineral which many of you don't speak about, okay? So I am myself Dr. Poonam Sambhaji, child and newborn specialist from North Goa, Pohruri. So we hear everyone talking about protein, we hear about everyone talking about iron, calcium, okay? Not much importance is given to magnesium. Now what is magnesium? It's a mineral which is required in our body and it's a type 2 micronutrient in our uh, diet which should be included in our diet and interestingly it is available only in wedge sources non-wedge sources are very minor resources of magnesium so non-wedge people be aware you need wedge items to be included in your diet so as to make for the magnesium uh, content of your diet since minerals are not not uh, uh, generated by our body or produced by our body we need to get them from our diet and how can we get them by including magnesium rich food items in our regular diet now magnesium food as i said is you know mostly into a wet sources so what are the sources that we can include in our diet to increase our magnesium uh, in our food first is uh, uh, the green leafy vegetables or the leafy vegetables for that matter then what are they amaranth leaves spinach pallor okay then is the dry nuts like almonds uh, then uh, uh, cashew nuts uh, then seeds like sunflower seeds sesame seeds okay we also need beans beans like cow peas uh, then uh, moth beans the bengal gram okay and we also require uh, things like grains now what are grains grains like sorghum the jowar bajra uh, finger millet which is ragi now all these five classes that i said okay namely the beans the nuts the seeds the leaves and the grains are important sources of calcium uh, just to uh, give you the importance of how much calcium uh, sorry uh, the magnesium not calcium magnesium okay just to give you an importance a 30 gram of beans okay of all these mother beans or uh, cow peas or you know even the uh, the rajma okay they give around 64 grams of uh, magnesium okay whereas 100 grams of green leafy vegetables gives around 100 uh, around 200 milligrams of uh, magnesium magnesium requirement for an adult like us is around four, 310 to 400 milligrams per day a child requires somewhere around 80 milligrams per day an adolescent requires around 400 to 450 milligrams per day a growing child of one to eight uh, uh, years requires around 80 to 120 grams per day a pregnant woman and a lactating woman require a little bit more so to make up for this you require to eat that much of food on a daily basis okay so as i said green leafy vegetables you know for around 100 grams gives us around 200 grams or milligrams of uh, uh of uh, magnesium so that's why increasing the intake of green leafy vegetables is very very important in your diet okay uh one more uh, one more i one more thing that you should remember that the phytates the oxalates uh, as well as the fiber in the diet can uh, hinder the absorption of magnesium in the diet okay that's why very very important that you soak the items so whatever items i do especially the grains or the beans okay or the nuts see to it that you soak them and soak them overnight or at least for two to six hours okay so that these phytates oxalates and the fiber uh, phytates and oxalates are lost to some extent fiber will still remain but it's fine at least the phytates and oxalates will go okay some other ways of increasing the magnesium content is by fermenting the items so your idli dosas okay then uh, roasting it till it is gold brown like you know, the dry fruits can be roasted it will increase the absorption as well as uh, cooking them properly not overcooking them but cooking them all these things can help in increasing the absorption of magnesium how does magnesium deficiency present very simple you know i'm feeling tired number one okay body ache muscle pain calf pain okay uh, then uh, uh, you can also get headaches migraine 
bone pains, you know, feeling of that bone pain. These are all symptoms of a magnesium deficiency. And if you still overlook it and it goes ahead, then it can cause heart elements like, you know, problems in the beats of the heart. Okay, the heart beat. Okay, it also can decrease the levels of potassium and calcium in your body as well as increase in deficiency can happen during the pregnancy because the demands are very high. Okay, so try to include these food items that I told you by maybe soaking, roasting and cooking, okay, and uh, fermenting them and including them in your diet so that you can make maximum use of the food to give you the nutrition. Remember, if you don't eat food uh, like medicine, you'll have to eat medicine like food in the future life. So for this nutrition week, remember to include magnesium in your diet. Bye bye. See you. If you have any queries regarding nutrition, mention them in the comments below. I would love to answer them in this September month. Bye bye.